Hi guys, I'm Davin O'Gara, local real estate agent in the LA area. Today we're gonna go through the positives and negatives of uh, remodeling and adding on to your house, which is what I did here. Please stay until the end because I'm gonna start with the negatives. They're pretty long, <laughs> but the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. So one of the main negative points of like remodeling and adding on to your property is it's extremely time consuming. So if you have a full-time job, being at the site watching the contractor is really, really tough. Um, and believe me, if you're not there, there will be lots of mistakes and a lot of problems that you encounter. Another one is it doesn't seem like they understand what you're saying when you speak to them. Another reason why you kind of have to be there for specific things. Uh, just to give an example, I have retaining walls all around my property. So I wanted to have them gray, um, looking like smooth concrete, right? I leave my house, go to my appointments, I come back, the walls were white, right? And I, I have had that conversation with him many times. I even pointed a bench. I just wanted to look like that bench. Can you do that? Obviously, they're not able to do that. So really tough on the communication part. You really have to be like on top of it. And when you tell them something, you might want to repeat it to make sure they understand it. Maybe write down like a checklist. And at the end of each day, the stuff that they're supposed to do, just check off on it. And if they haven't done it, just say, hey, we're going to have to discuss a discount here. You're going to have to improve your work from now on, you know, because you haven't been doing a great job. Sometimes you want to do a lot of things to a property that you purchased, but also like reality sinks in, which is you've talked to engineers, architect, they'll bring you back to reality and say, hey, you can't really do 99% of the things you want to do. Uh, to give you an example, when I first purchased this house, my basement, I wanted to raise the ceiling height by dropping the concrete flooring, right? I brought in architects, they're like, oh yeah, you can totally do that. It wasn't until I brought in the engineer that I was told that my flooring was actually the foundation, which means, hey, I can't really do that, which means I cannot get my ADU permitted. Hence why I have to do it unpermitted. As you guys can hear, it's still going, uh, it's still under construction. So I apologize for the noise. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That is just an example. So like when you are searching for a property during your inspection period, if you are planning on adding on to it or you're planning on moving a wall, apart from the inspector being there, bring on an engineer and an architect and they'll be able to tell you if you can do it or not. Now, that's not a reason for you to go to the seller. Hey, you need to give me credit for that because that's something personal that you want to do right so but at least you're aware of it you're aware if you can do it and you're aware of how much it's gonna cost versus like finding out when you start doing it which is what happened to me on my case as an example um, when I decided to build an ADU in the basement because I have a septic tank it's a pretty simple thing but I didn't really think of it uh, how are you gonna drain the shower, the kitchen sink in the basement, and the bathroom sink? If it goes into the septic tank, it's gonna fill up very quickly. It's gonna cost me $1,100 to pump it out every like six months. That's absurd, right? The solution that I found, which is gonna cost me a lot of money, so it's in process right now, is to um, buy a uh, macerator pump that will pump the water, the gray water up. And then from there, it will travel all the way to my side yard, which will make it greener. So technically I turned my house into like a greenhouse, right? Uh, still, even though it sounds like cool and all, it's really expensive, right? It's not something that I was accounting for and it was outside of my budget. I think a lot of people in LA want to have a house with views, right? That's like, that was my dream at least. Unfortunately, those like come with uh, challenges, got to pay for the view, right? So when you start building, uh, 
hillside, architectural plans, um, engineering plans require a lot more uh, tasks and slope analysis, like a bunch of things that I didn't even know existed, right? In order for the city to approve the things you wanna do, even if you just wanna move a wall, there's so much that goes into it, like you need to tell them what your AC unit number is. You need to get a uh, topographic uh, test, a slope analysis, and all of those things will cost you money, right? For the AC guy to come here, 250 bucks. The slope analysis, $1,400. Topographic test, $1,800. So it's expensive to be hillside, basically. And then another thing that's even worse, when I got my kitchen delivered, because it's a very narrow road, uh, trucks that are over 12 foot long cannot fit here which means I gotta always have a truck up here to drive down, pick up my kitchen cabinets, my appliances, everything that I order, basically my furniture, uh, and bring it up here. And as you know, delivery companies are never on time. So there were times where the truck that my contractor drives that's here until four o'clock wasn't here when they got here. So you can only imagine what I went through. Um, so let's go into the positives. It is really fun to pick out furniture, to tailor your own place, your own taste. Pick out colors of how you want your place to look like and add your personality to it. That part is really fun. I think a lot of people can really enjoy that. But the most important part, at least to me, financial part, as you guys saw on previous videos, I bought this for 650,000. My goal was to get this up to 850 after construction. Construction is not even done yet, just but what I did interiorly in the upstairs unit, it's already worth 850, which is pretty awesome. Real estate is definitely a great way to build your wealth. And uh, even though it's really challenging to deal with constructions and building ADUs, whatever it may be, it is worth it at the end of the day. Prices per square foot are really high in LA. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and subscribe to the website as well so you can get a curated list of good investment properties just like this one. See you in the next video.